In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather, let us call to mind our sinfulness as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned my back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him comfort me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. For your sake, I bear insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. Insult has broken my heart and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in, in your, your great, great love, love answer, answer me. me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer, answer me. me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Hail Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief <coughs> priest and said, What are you willing to give me? if I hand him over to you. They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand Jesus over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. 
The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with them. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. Jesus said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever wondered why he did it? Why did Judas betray the Lord? Over the years, I've read several commentaries about this gospel passage, commentaries that gave some indication, some theories, perhaps why Judas betrayed the Lord. One theory was Judas was greedy. He was the one that kept the money bag for the disciples. And we learn from the sacred scripture that oftentimes he helped himself to the proceeds, the revenue that was in there. And so simply Judas betrayed Jesus because he was greedy. He wanted money. Another line of thought on why Judas betrayed Jesus is that Judas was disappointed in Jesus. Judas was what we would call a nationalist. He was expecting, as were many, that the Messiah of God would be a powerful military warrior who would gather a vast army, arm them with weapons, and drive out the oppressors. Jesus was not doing what Judas thought Jesus should be. And so out of disappointment, out of resentment, he betrayed him. A third possibility is that Judas was just trying to sort of force Jesus' hand. Yes, Jesus was talking about peace and love and forgiveness and mercy, and that was all nice. But if pushed into a corner, Judas thought, that will then have Jesus come out fighting. Sadly, Judas missed the point. Sadly, Judas could not accept Jesus for who Jesus was, the Son of God, soon to be the Savior of the world, a man who came to bring about peace and forgiveness, mercy and love for all. For some reason, Judas couldn't understand, wouldn't accept the reality of who Jesus was for him and would be for all the world. Now, before you and I want to sit in judgment on Judas for his betrayal of Jesus, we need to look into our own hearts. How many times have you and I betrayed the Lord? We call that sin. Not doing what the Lord expects of us not doing what the Lord calls us to be. Many times in our lives, you and I have turned our back, ignored the Lord for who he was for us, and did our own thing. We sin. We turned our back on Jesus. We betrayed him. But unlike Judas, hopefully you and I will realize that even in our sinfulness, the Lord Jesus is there to forgive us, to love us, to reconcile us with, to reconcile us with him once again. Today we end the season of Lent. Tomorrow we begin the Triduum, the three holy days 
of the death and resurrection of the Lord. During this Lenten time, hopefully you and I have taken time to look into our hearts and discover the sinfulness is there and ask the Lord Jesus Christ for his forgiveness. We need to remember that Jesus reads our heart and not our lips. When our heart is truly repentant, when our heart is truly sorrowful, the Lord always forgives us with his merciful love. Forgiven of our failure, sustained at Christ's table, we pray. For the baptized who have stayed from the, strayed from the way of Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders who have betrayed the trust of those in their care, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For politicians and business leaders who have sold out the poor for their own gain, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have betrayed and abandoned their families, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who wreak havoc on their communities and neighborhoods, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who neglect the sick, the disabled, the elderly, and the defenseless, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Deacon Richard Radford, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those dead of neglect or apathy to their needs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Though your people betray you, O Christ, in faithfulness you redeem those you love. Bear with us, bear us with you as we remember your passion and death, that your cross may shatter Satan's power and your resurrection bring life to the world. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and would become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, would become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, for which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of God hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim, we proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our and Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 
Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which you, the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly in the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Latin works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and protect you and keep you always in his care. May the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Shabby.